Hi everyone, this is Mukta Sharma. In this video, we will discuss 10 important Maven related interview question and answers with the help of some examples. So if you have just started working in automation testing and you are working on Maven, this video will definitely help you because we are starting with the very basic of uh, Maven and we will go to the advanced level. Let's see what all are the questions I have covered for beginner level um, candidates. For example, uh, what is Maven? Why it is used in automation projects? What is pom.xml file in Maven? How does Maven manage dependencies? What is the difference between install, package, and clean in Maven? What are Maven repositories? How many types are there? These are for beginner level questions. Don't worry, I'm gonna explain it later in, in just two minutes. Intermediate level questions. Uh, how do you integrate Maven with Jenkins? If you are working in automation testing, if you are working with Jenkins and if you want to know how do you integrate, right? These type of questions can be asked in the interview to anyone, whether you are fresher or have a couple of years of testing experience, they can ask you, how do you run specific tests and G Suite using Maven? What is the Maven Shore plugin used for? And maybe they can ask you, can you explain Maven profiles? What are transitive dependencies in Maven? Right. So I have categorized these for your understanding and depending upon your level, you can, you know, pick and learn from this video. So let's start. What is Maven? Why it is used in automation projects? Maven is a build automation tool used primarily for Java projects. It manages project build, dependencies, plugins and documentation. It ensures that your automation framework can be easily built and shared across teams. Real-time example, you can give your project example. You can say, I'm working in a, a project where we are using Selenium WebDriver. This is a web-based application and uh, we are using Maven, which is used to add dependencies like Selenium Java, TestNG, extent report through the pom.xml file. So there is no need to download jar files manually. Then there could be next question, what is pom.xml file in Maven? Can you explain what is pom.xml? So you can say, pom.xml pom page object uh, model sorry project object model is a core file in maven that contains all the project related configurations such as what are the dependencies what are the plugins what are the goals business settings and build settings and versioning you can see like i'm working on a bank ba banking application and we needed rest assured for our api testing so instead of you know downloading it separately we added we took rest assured dependency from google and added to the pom xml file so maven pulled it automatically when we ran the project this is about pom.xml and similarly for the other dependencies also we have done the same work so so that maven can pull it automatically when you run the project how does Maven manage dependencies? Maven downloads and manage libraries or dependencies from a central repository and, and store them in your local, where in .m2 folder. Maybe uh, if any automation engineer, automation testers are watching this video, they will understand what is, uh, what is that local uh, repository, m2 folder, right? It ensures correct versions are used and resolves transitive dependencies. Real-time example, let's say you can see I'm working in an automation project where we are using Selenium, TestNG, and Apache POI for Excel data handling. We are adding all these three dependencies in pom.xml file. Maven downloads this and then pull required sub-dependencies like, like Gavava or Commons logging automatically. So we don't need to do it explicitly outside. Next question, very important question. What is the difference between install, package, and clean in Maven? So when we say clean, uh, when we say MVN clean, it means it will delete the target directory. It will delete all the previous build files. When we say uh, MVN <coughs> clean package, it compiles the code and package into a jar file or a war file, right? And install, install is used to install and build artifact into your local Maven repository. So when you're ready to share, when your uh, test automation framework is ready and you want to run, you will say MVN clean install so that it will clean the, it will delete the target directory. It will um, clean the previous build files and give you a, you know, a fresh package. It will build your project, makes the jar file available locally so that you can use it your, for your dependencies. What are Maven repositories? How many are there? So you, you have to say 
And there are three type of repository we have. One is local repository, uh, .m2 slash repository, .m2 folder. Second is central repository, which is default online repo, which Maven uses. And there is a remote repository, which is private or custom repo like Nexus or Artifactory. Real-time example, you can see when you have... When you use a new tool like Allure, we have used Allure for uh, uh, test reporting in our project. So Maven looks into the local repo first. He, it will look into .m2 folder first and then downloads it from the central repository or maybe a remote repository and then store it there for the future build so that we don't have to um, again look for it again and again. So um, what is the next question? How do you integrate Maven with Jenkins? You can see in Jenkins, you can configure the Maven path and build steps like MVN clean install. Uh, just let me know, uh, write down in the comments if you have worked in Jenkins or if you have not worked in Jenkins. Because when you use uh, Jenkins, there is, when you configure build jobs, there is a section where you can select the build. You can say, okay, we are using Maven and then you can give the specific command so that you can configure the Maven path and Jenkins can uh, take the, uh, you know, test from your, uh, this uh, path. This helps automate test execution after each code commit. So you will use MVN clean install in your CI CD pipeline for an e-commerce platform. Every time a developer pushes new code, Jenkins trigger a Maven build that runs Selenium regression test, right? So just let me know in the comments if you're using Jenkins, if you have used it, or if you want to know, if you want me to prepare a video on Jenkins also. Okay. How do you run specific test ng suite using Maven? So you can say uh, we we configure Maven hyphen surefire plugin in our pom.xml to execute uh, specific uh, files. Let's say in the login module we have login dot uh, login hyphen test ng dot xml. So to run only the login uh, test cases, we say mvn test and this is the command that we give hyphen d suite xml file hyphen d suite xml file is equal to now whatever is your uh, uh, xml file name login test ng dot xml so this command is useful when you want to run just a specific part of the application of the project without running the whole regression test suite yeah, so you have to just remember this uh, command mvn test minus d suite and minus d suite xml file is equal to whatever part you want to execute that file only. Next question could be, what is Maven Surefire plugin used for? It's a plugin used to run unit or test ng unit test during the Maven build process. It helps generate reports and test summaries automatically. For example, you can say I'm working on post projects where we are using Maven Surefire plugin, which runs test ng test for checkout, return and text validation. And it shows us pass or fail report in, in where in the target uh, folder of this surefire reports folder where we see the test report how many tests are passing and failing next question can you explain maven profiles profiles allow you to define different configurations so you can you know you can explain in such a way that you know you can relate it with your project if you have worked on these things then definitely you should be able to understand and explain only thing what is required in the interviews you should be able to streamline your thoughts and you should be confident enough to answer the questions if you don't understand any question you can say i'm sorry can you please repeat the question and then they can say, uh, have you worked on Maven profiles? Do you know about uh, anything about Maven profiles? Then you can say, uh, yes, I think Maven uh, profiles are used to define different configurations for different environments. Like we have different environments, dev, QA, prod, uh, in pom.xml file and each profile can be used for different browsers, URLs and data sets. For example, uh, dev profile is used for um, Chrome test, QA profile is used for running Selenium or running test on Selenium grid with Firefox. So we are using command like MVN test hyphen P QA hyphen profile, the profile name, and it will help us to run the in specific test cases on Selenium grid with so and so browser. Okay. What are transitive dependencies in Maven? These are the dependencies that your project that your direct dependency rely on. Maven automatically resolves and includes them unless you explicitly exclude them. For example, you can say like in 
one of our API project, we needed a REST assured uh, dependency. <clears throat> So Maven automatically pulled JSON path and libraries because rest assured was depending on that. So these are uh, transitive dependencies, right? Uh, which Maven automatically resolve. You can say something like that. And in any case, if you don't know question to an, uh, answer to any question, you can be, you know, you can just say, uh, I'm sorry, I don't have much idea on that. But uh, yes, I have worked on this a little bit. And then tell tell the interviewer what you know about it. Okay, guys. So thank you for watching. If you find this video useful, please like the video and write a comment for me. I would be happy to interact with you through comments. I really hope that these Maven questions will help you in your interview preparation. With that, I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.